I'm originally from uh, California, uh, but I have a, a Latin background uh, and I, I studied uh, most of my life in the U.S. until I, I moved to France, where I, I, I did my university degree um, in, in economics, as you mentioned. And, and more importantly, I started thinking a lot about computer science and how I could mix both finance and, and economics with, with technology, which was always my passion since I was a little kid. Uh, and I, right after college, um, I started Grave Impact, uh, which is the company I, I, I currently run. And it's been um, a great, it's been a great personal project for me in that it started off as a, as a passionate um, idea around artificial intelligence and how we could use um, technologies that could help us think better, um, not necessarily replace us, but rather make us more efficient and more more capable of understanding large amounts of information. Uh, and my background in finance was a good sort of connection with that as I started meeting very interesting smart people that knew about AI and knew about developing and engineering um, solutions that would help us process uh, things like news and um, filings and public rather unstructured information that is very difficult for us humans, right, to, to do so in an efficient manner. So in, in general, these, these things have kind of come together for me as, a, as an opportunity to actually create a business out of it and create a company, uh, which is not always easy, but at the same time, it's, it's been a great way for me to basically enjoy every day of my life doing something that I really like, uh, working on very hard problems and meeting some of the smartest people in the world that have you know, really interesting ideas around the use of data and how to take, take advantage of information for the better of humanity. I think, you know, finance is, is one of the most interesting spaces, um, not necessarily because it's, it's full of bankers or, or greedy people, but rather people that actually care about developing cutting edge technologies. Finance was the first to incorporate real time event processing technology. They deal with so much information that they've had to really invest in, in managing and creating analytical technology that tries to make sense of large amounts of stock information, fundamental information, um, news, uh, and any, any information that is revealed publicly about investable assets. So in, in essence, I've seen finance transform in the last 20 years. Right after the dot-com uh, uh, bubble bust, if you may, the, the finance community really focused on trying to be more effective in understanding all the risk factors that influence pricing. And we saw uh, essentially a group of very sophisticated data scientists um, start hedge funds and start asset management firms uh, with this notion that if they were able to process all of these various factors in a very quick and efficient manner, then rather than being able to predict uh, markets, they would essentially be better at processing the data and get uh, an advantage over their competitors. And while it's not a crystal ball, it's a technology infrastructure that permits the ability to get um, ahead of your um, investable competitors, if you may, by being quick at ingesting all the information about executives, about products, about uh, the market about the economy that may impact um, the pricing that investors will assign to specific assets. But if you're doing able to do it in a millisecond, right, in a few milliseconds, then you can definitely be um, more efficient. And that was something that really drove my interest. Um, I also noticed that most investors in banks were very heavy on traditional data. Uh, they, they've been using market data and fundamental data for, for most, of their, uh, most of their careers. But we brought something different to the table, and that was what we now call alternative data, essentially being able to gather what really drives investors, the causes and then the actual the actions, if you may, of investors before they decide to buy or sell an asset. And the only way you can do that is by trying to probe in their emotions, if you may, the sentiment of investors. Uh, and how do we go about doing that? Well, you know, you basically look at everything investors read. What newspapers do they read? What blogs do they subscribe to? What magazines or journals do they um, normally consult in order to make an investment decision? And it was in those areas where we thought the use of technology would be very helpful in, in trying to make sense of what people would ultimately use to make their decisions. So this space has been very exciting in that all these different problems, while driven by 
the desire to be more effective at buying and making better decisions in terms of what you invest in have really driven some technological change and, and, and a technological revolution in big data and AI that not other that I at least I have not seen other sectors do. And while healthcare perhaps is the closest, finance has been at the cutting edge since the beginning of, of information technology.